Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake. Let's go see what's on the TV. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. Whoa, whoa. What are you talking about? I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me. Using me to get the story it wants. And the story will come true. Where's that sound coming from? Hartman wanted me to write. I knew I couldn't. But I figured I should just play along for now. It was the only thing I could do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. Is this my room or Emerson's room? Whose room is this? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Is that an Xbox 360? It is! Well, I'll say Night Springs. I would not be playing an Xbox 360 on such a puny portable TV, though. That is not the way to go. Wake's room. And I get a lousy typewriter. He gets an Xbox 360, and I get a lousy typewriter. Well, that seems fair. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, wake! You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Be cool. Looks like one of the. I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Okay. Investigate the racket. <laughs> it's gotta be those two heavy metal dudes, man. It's gotta be. Kick it off big time. Whoa, whoa! I kind of missed that manuscript page. Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practice hand on Barry's shoulder. What? The hulking man? Well, things are unraveling fast, aren't they? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this where he hits the nurse in the head with a hammer? Maybe it's a real hammer, though. It's my Sinclair store. looked bad. I'm that wasn't a blow tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. Oh if my she was God. one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. Is all yours, I could get the key to the office from destiny. Sinclair. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping Come out and face the music, Birch! He actually has it with a real hammer. Oh my god. Let's get the hell through here. Come on, let's find his office. Oops, open the lock. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, what's that? The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. Flaming knew it. His tone of voice just didn't seem right. It just seemed like he was trying too hard. Said they were recordings Hartman had made of the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. He was trying too hard to convince me. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? <sighs> More and more out of control all the time. The parties, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent. He's. Do you mean with you? No, not with me. No, never. I. Sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me. Because at least that'd lead to a conversation he couldn't just march out of. But no. He just. Alan doesn't really sleep. And the work, well. Yes. Tell me, Mrs. Wake. What would you say to him if he'd listen? <sighs> I don't know. I want to say, I look at you, and it's not you. Just some stranger who resembles you. Looking out from behind your eyes. And I don't like that guy much. And now it's all gonna go to hell. But you don't ever say this. No. No. I've tried, but he's not listening. He's too deep in his own problems. Always going 
going on about something else. I'm so afraid I'm gonna lose him. And we're not even talking anymore. He doesn't let me in anymore. He just keeps me in the dark. I'm so alone here, even when he's home. Please help me, Doctor, because I am at my wit's end. Well, if you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but Doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut-up of this. Just a recording. Oh, and then he got the phone call back at the, uh, when he was on the route to the train station. Manuscript page. Mott fails Hartman. Hartman wasn't happy. Mott could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time. And he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. Oh, Mott's working for Hartman! This is all very... What the hell's going on? I don't know. Save Barry? What's happened to Barry? Open this lock. Open the lock! Come on! Get a grip! Oh my god. Oh, maybe it's that door. <laughs> there is the door we're unlocking. Barry? Hey, Barry! Ah, about time! Barry, man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else, I'd sue their asses. <laughs> Speaking of asses, that fit gave me a real hard time. But I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up. But when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach her. Yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal, we gotta get going. What the hell? Okay, let's go. You're blocking the way, though. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. <laughs> ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea... Hartman, shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Oh, dear. He doesn't Wake, look like... Listen to me. He can this be reasoned with right now. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. The hell? <laughs> oh, that's the cheeky. Grimmy was talking about manuscript page. Hatman watches Wake fall. Hartman followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning, even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. Okay. The dark presence would be on me in a moment. I had to find a way out. Escape the clinic, which we shall do in the next part. Join me again for future parts of Alan Lake. 
I'll see you soon.